And speaking of trains, here's a word you likely haven't heard in a while, Hyperloop. That was the ambitious plan to move people and goods on the ground through vacuum tubes at airplane speeds. You remember that, I'm sure. Oh, I, I asked John Kosick. I said, we've been talking about this for five years. A long time. Yep. <laughs> five years ago, a plan was unveiled to explore a Cleveland to Chicago route. So whatever, whatever happened to that? News 5's John Kosick was thinking that as well. On a cold February morning, they gathered five years ago to unveil the grand plan to invest an eventual $1.3 million from the WACA and the Cleveland Foundation into a Hyperloop feasibility study. They wanted to see if building a Hyperloop that could transport people from Cleveland to Chicago in just 27 minutes was, well, feasible. Where should it go along? Uh, what are the best right-of-ways that we can use? Um, how much will it cost? And uh, how are we going to be paying for it? Hyperloop travel involves vehicles of around 100 feet in length using passive magnetics to levitate and essentially a vacuum tube where it can travel at speeds of up to 700 miles an hour, which actually enables it to generate more energy than it uses. The study, the largest done on a Hyperloop system, came back in 2019 and found that it was not only feasible, but could be built using private dollars. It's an independent study that says that the system does not need any government subsidies, and that's a game changer when it comes to transportation. Impressive given the estimated cost to build of $50 million a mile. Still won the $1.2 trillion infrastructure Structure Investment and Jobs Act passed in November of 2021, it included some funds for Hyperloop projects. That same month, Hyperloop TT, the group behind the plan to link Chicago, Cleveland, and Pittsburgh, unveiled what the inside of the cars in these tubes would look like. It's spacious. We have this, this really interesting artificial sunlight technology, artificial skylight. It feels like you're outside, or we can turn it into the night sky. Um, we have speakers embedded in the headrests. It's personalized so the seat knows who you are, it knows your name if you wanted to. And 14 months ago, they still remain bullish on a timeline. Testing continues to go well. I mean, we're, we're still on track. So for you guys in Cleveland, it's, you know, before the end of the decade, we want to bring Hyperloop to you. The folks at Hyperloop TT tell News 5 they remain excited and optimistic about the Hyperloop project, and they expect to proceed with the next phase of work, which is an environmental study later this year. Folks here at NOACA say because it will be a project driven by private funds, it moves forward at a different pace, but it is moving forward. So there's a lot of reasons for us to be excited and that we would love to be forward on, but again, it's really a private sector initiative, and so we're looking for uh, them to move forward on um, the analysis and the preliminary engineering. In Cleveland, John Kasich, News 5.